Hello everyone, thank you all for coming to my channel. My name is Ariana Marche and if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're back again, what's up girl? We are back with another Divine Goddess video where I help guide you through life and all its dilemmas. And if you will, please take a moment to go ahead and follow both of my social medias and we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, today's topic is five things that your relationships should teach you and when i say relationships i'm not just talking about like boyfriend and girlfriend but i'm talking about friendships anything relationships with your um family members all of that you should learn something in each of these connections so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get into number one and that is that a lot of us are just very lonely so you have to be honest with yourself and ask yourself why did you even get into those connections to begin with now i know you can't choose your family but you can choose your friends your man your woman whatever for the so for at least the ones that you can choose where was you at in your time in the time of your life when you decided to entertain those friends or get into that relationships and some of y'all may have been in good places as far as you know just physically and the things that you have but what about mentally a lot of us were feeling so very mentally alone like you have people around you but you know that you were still alone and it ain't no worse a feeling than being around a whole bunch of people and still feeling alone a lot of us are actually scared to let these people go but knowing that we feel alone with them but we still would not rather be without them you know what i'm saying that's crazy i saw this uh quote today actually and it said that it's better to be alone in good company than you know with people and in bad company and that's just literally amazing y'all because when you realize how much better off you would be without some people in your space, you'll do what you need to do and watch your life just get better from there. I think it's hard to let people go. That's always the hardest process to go through is letting people go, knowing that you've got to let these people go and realizing what you got to ask yourself, like, what made me talk to these people? to begin with like what what was my mental like what was i doing a lot of people get distracted while they're in the process of doing good or they're doubling back and things like that so that's a big one with a lot of people but you have to ask yourself like honestly like why would i entertain that and how did those situations make me feel while i was in them like half of us was okay we got into those situations and ended up being worse off like we are just completely just thrown off now and that takes a lot to come back from and it's crazy that situations and people will actually drag you to that place but like i always say the goal is to not even get there you shouldn't even let nobody drag you to that space in your life that's why it's important to be able to be content and comfortable with being alone so that when it's time to get rid of these people you can just do that and know like okay they're gone but this is good for me and i know better people have to come along eventually and number two is that it shows your focus you have to take into account really the type of people that you have around you like the type the inventory all of that you you have to like go down the list the type of people that you have around you shows you like okay where is your focus when you with those people what do y'all do when you get out with those homegirls what are y'all doing what are y'all talking about where's the places that y'all are going when you with that man what are y'all doing what do y'all ever talk about? What do y'all ever talk about? If it's any real talking going on, you know what I'm saying? You know, that was a little shady, but we had to throw that in there. If it's any talking going on, what are y'all really talking about? Like, let's just be honest. And I say that because that, it goes to show you, that's where your mind is too. If you are in those connections with those people and you are dealing with them, that is 
some type of reflection of you. You are showing what's going on inside of you, where your mind is, what is it that you get up and think about every day. And I understand that, you know, things get hard. And a lot of times what, what it really is, is that people are just looking for a stress relief. Like, I know life get hard and some people, they're doing all of these things that they really don't be wanting to do don't really care to do but if that's the fun outlet to take their mind off of it then that's what they are and i know that's common amongst you know people that's in their early 20s or whatever but a lot of people that is their outlet so you have to realize like if these people around me i'm hanging with them and this is all we ever do then that's obviously where my mind is too i'm looking for an escape i'm looking for a getaway you know what I'm saying? And I hate to be the one that busts the bubble, but if that's what your people around you look like, you don't really have nothing going for yourself. And it's crazy if you the one that ain't got nothing going for yourself. I feel like it's always that one person that everybody around them is doing something. They just don't know about it, but they call you and you want to party, party, party and go out or let's link or anything like that and you sitting up here knowing that you got priorities but you gonna jump when they call okay let's go i'm down woo 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 and you go whole time them folks they getting their stuff taken care of it's bad when you the one that's juggling that but it's bringing you down and you really not doing no focus. Some people can juggle it and be just fine. But when you are the one that, oh, I'm going to just go hang out and I can catch up with this later. And you don't catch up with it later. And you behind. And you wake up and you behind in life. That's a cold place. That's a cold place. That's a cold realization. A lot of us stay in these connections with these people and entertain them. Because we don't have nothing going for ourselves. If you had something going for yourself, you would have a lot to think about. You would think twice before dealing with certain people. You would think twice before putting off something important to go do something crazy. Like, you would have something to think about. And let me put this out there and, and separate this. Because a lot of people think that just because they have responsibilities, meaning that, oh, I have a child, I have a car note, I have rent. Those are just responsibilities, meaning things that you have to get up and do. It wouldn't even make sense if you didn't get up and do those things. You're not going to get a cookie for those things. You know what I'm saying? So it's a difference between responsibilities and things that you want to do. It's the difference between what you want to do and what you have to do. Anybody can get up, go to work, and pay bills, but what do you do? outside of that the little time that you do have what are you doing outside of that are you spending it clubbing going crazy blowing money just drinking your weekends away like that's your free time that is the time and things that matter i'm not talking about your responsibilities you gotta do that stuff it don't even make sense if you wouldn't do it i'm talking about based off of who you are what what would make sense to you what would not make sense to you what what would look good for your life 10 years down the line based off of what you're doing right now in the free time that you have if what you're doing right now in your free time don't give you no better outlet then that just lets you know the people that you nine times out of ten hanging around with don't have too much going for themselves either because it's always when you want to grow people don't be ready to grow with you and you can't always take everybody with you either so you have to be honest and ask yourself those questions based off of where you're at so a lot of people only have responsibilities they don't got nothing actually going for themselves go put the business in motion go start going to the gym go start writing a book painting putting your makeup out there whatever whatever it is that you do go start doing that and become so focused on that that yes you actually do have something to something to think about or something to do in your spare time what do you have going for yourself you don't know what that can turn into you letting talents go to waste because you out here with tom willie and keisha and they ain't doing nothing tom willie and keisha you need to get away from them all right stay away from them right now and number three, 
triggers. The connections that you are in will tell you your triggers. It will show you where you have not healed that, where you may still be hurting and you thought that you was over it. You know what I'm saying? There's so many things that we overlook or we try to run from, but when we get in these connections, we just bleed out and it just shows. It just shows. Um, so pay attention to what's triggering you. If you're in that relationship and the guy does something or he says something and he just it make you feel away like you know that feeling in your heart and it make you drop oh, it. Oh, I done seen this before. Like, mm-mm, this don't seem right. Get somebody else to do it. Get somebody else to do it. Like, mm-mm. Those things that will make you run from situations. Like, you kind of have to pay attention to that because people who are still triggered, if they have not healed all the way or at all, it will cause you to sell sabotage like real bad real bad and you don't want to do that especially if this is something that's good for you and you can ruin that it's not no worse or feeling that knowing that this was a good friend for you this was a good man for you and you done ruined it all because you know you wasn't together up here so the stuff that y'all were faced or things that came up you didn't really truly know how to deal with it you just dealt with it at the level that you was at because that was all that you knew that's a real hard pill to swallow and have to look back and be like dang i messed that up that's a hard pill to swallow y'all but just pay attention to what it is that triggers you and y'all know i'm an advocate for journaling so i'm gonna always tell you Pull that piece of paper out. Go get that pen. Or write it down. Or if you just don't feel like writing, that ain't you. Pull out your phone. Voice record. Talk your stuff. Act like you talking to the person. Like, what would you tell them? Like, and play it back. And you'll actually figure those things out. To hear yourself kind of talk sometimes. You'll listen to it later on and be like, ah, that's what it was. You know what? That makes sense. Because now this, like, I do that all the time I played back some voice memos that I recorded in like 2021, 2022, and it would end up being on that exact same day and to hear it. And it's crazy because for sometimes you will figure out that you have been running in a circle in your life for a minute to look back on a recording from a year ago and to find out that you have sat in the same spot because you are dealing with the same thing a year later. A whole 365 days later, it's enough to make you cry for real. So pay attention to these things because you don't want to look up and realize like, dang, what am I doing? My storyline is the same from last year. That's crazy. That's crazy. So like I said, jot that down. Pull out that phone if you need to, but... Most important of all, just be letting this stuff out. Talk about them triggers. Face them. Face them because you do not want to self-sabotage. But that brings me to the end of this video. And if y'all will, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please be sharing these videos. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.